Welcome to Math World. Today, let us learn about Cartesian product of sets. Consider two non-empty sets A and B. A non-empty set is a set containing one or more elements. Elements of set A are 2 and 3 and elements of set B are A and B. Cartesian product of A and B is denoted as A cross B which is equal to the set of all ordered pairs 2 comma A 2 comma B 3 comma A 3 comma B Here each element of set A is making an ordered pair with each element of set B to form Cartesian product of A and B. You can notice that in each of the ordered pair, the elements of set A comes first and the elements of set B comes second. Now let us find the Cartesian product of set B and set A for this we write the elements of set B first, then the elements of set A. Cartesian product of set B and set A is denoted as B cross A, which is equal to the set of all ordered pairs A comma 2, A comma 3, B comma 2, B comma 3. Here we combine each element of set B with each element of set A to form ordered pairs. We can see that in each of the ordered pair elements of set B comes first and then comes the elements of set A. Definition of Cartesian product of sets given to non-empty sets A and B. The Cartesian product A cross B is the set of all ordered pairs of elements from A and B. A cross B is equal to the set of all ordered pairs A comma B such that A belongs to A, B belongs to B. Remarks Two ordered pairs are equal if and only if the corresponding first elements are equal and the second elements are also equal. The ordered pair a comma b is equal to the ordered pair x comma y if and only if the corresponding first elements are equal and the second elements are also equal. That is a is equal to x and b is equal to y. Problem if the ordered pair x plus y comma y minus 3 is equal to the ordered pair 7 comma 5 find the values of x and y since the ordered pairs are equal x plus 5 is equal to 7 and y minus 3 is equal to 5 so x plus 5 is equal to 7 solving the equation we get x is equal to 7 minus 5. When plus 5 is transposed to the right hand side, it became minus 5. So 7 minus 5, 2. So x is equal to 2. y minus 3 is equal to 5. Solving the equation, y is equal to 5 plus 3. When minus 3 is transposed to the right hand side, it became plus 3. So y is equal to 5 plus 3, 8. y is equal to 8. Next one, if number of elements in set A is equal to P, number of elements in set B is equal to Q, then number of elements in A cross B is equal to P multiplied by Q. That is, number of elements in A cross B is equal to 
number of elements in set A multiplied by number of elements in set B. Elements of set A are 1 comma 2. Elements of set B are A comma B comma C. Number of elements in set A cross B is equal to number of elements in set A multiplied by number of elements in set B. Here, number of elements in set A is equal to 1, 2. Number of elements in set B is equal to 1, 2, 3. So, 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6. Let us find A cross B and see whether the number of elements in it are equal to 6. A cross B is the set of all ordered pairs 1 comma A, 1 comma B, 1 comma C, 2 comma A, 2 comma B, 2 comma C. Number of elements in A cross B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, number of elements in A cross B is equal to number of elements in set A multiplied by number of elements in set B. Problem. If number of elements in A cross B is equal to 20 and number of elements in set A is equal to 4, then find number of elements in set B. Number of elements in set A multiplied by number of elements in set B is equal to number of elements in A cross B. Number of elements in set A is given as 4. So 4 multiplied by number of elements in set B is equal to 20. Therefore number of elements in set B is equal to 20 divided by 4 which is equal to 5. So number of elements in set B is equal to 5. A cross A cross A is equal to the set of all ordered triplets A comma B comma C such that A comma B comma C belongs to A. For example, elements of set A are 1 comma 2. Cartesian product of set A and set A or A cross A is equal to the set of all ordered pairs 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 now let us find a cross a cross a or the cartesian product of set a cross a and set a here each element of set A cross A is making an ordered triplet with each element of set A. So, A cross A cross A is the set of all ordered triplets 1 comma 1 comma 1, 1 comma 1 comma 2, 1 comma 2 comma 1 1 comma 2 comma 2 2 comma 1 comma 1 2 comma 1 comma 2 2 comma 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 comma 2 Hope you understood how to find the Cartesian product of two sets and Cartesian product of three sets. Try to do the practice problems and check with the given answers.